Hey, so as I planned, I did a few videos, it didn't work out, and this is the, I don't know how, I, how which trial number is this, but hopefully this one will work out well. I'd just like to say welcome, and come, uh, welcome back to school. It's good to be back, even though I cannot see you face to face, and we have to do this online right now, concerning this life situation is around the world, you know, with all this virus going on, and so, you know, staying home, stay safe program, so, yeah, so I hope you, I hope I'm finding you guys are well right now as you are watching this video with me. Um, this is an introduction for, to kick off our music um, program for SIS for the, for, for the fourth term. And yeah, so we'll be looking at some uh, music study. Uh, we're going to be talking about music instruments for the next few weeks. Um, string instrument, percussion instrument. Now all the study that I'm making for this term is going to be a mix between personal video like this as well as some other YouTube link that, that you guys can click on and can look into to learn more about the in more in detail about the, uh, the subject that we talked about concerning music instruments. And yeah, so we will find out how these things online are going to work for us, right? It's not going to be easy, um, you know, it's going to be weird because I'll be talking too much and I won't be, I'm, I don't have to stop because nobody is raising their hand and asking me a question, which is a good thing. You know, once a while, you know, uh, but not too much as well. And yeah, so um, we've seen you guys a lot, you know, to, to get you know, to, to be with you guys, but you know, with, with, with this condition right now, so we just have to work things out now. Now, for the first for the first week uh, introductions uh, assignment, I you know, no, it's not it's not a homework. It's an assignment. It's different. It's a house assignment. It's not a homework. But anyway, for your first assignment, now we've, we've been talking about this um, on the end of the term, you know, about appreciating music, right? And the way to appreciate something is if you know the content. So you need to know first what are you looking at, what are you, what, you know, what do you like about something before you start to appreciate. So this is how. So when we talk about music and about music appreciation, we need to know the music first. So it's not just about the music as the, as the, as the music itself, as the, you know, the rhythm and the beat that makes you appreciate it. But I want you guys to learn more a bit about it, you know, by appreciating the message that is in the, behind the music. What does the, what does the story of the music tells you about? So, yeah, so if you, next time if you listen to music, pay attention to the music, listen to the word, listen to the lyrics, and find out what it's all about. That way you know what the music is all about, right? And sometimes you will be surprised because some you sometimes music that you think is good to listen to doesn't have a great word in it, doesn't have a great message in it. Or the other way around, some simple song that is quite simple, not really attractive, but it has a very deep, deep um, something to say about life. Now again, the reason why we want to make sure to learn about music content and, and the lyrics and stuff is because the music that you're listening to, it will help you as well to appreciate life. Yes, when you learn about music, you learn about life. Because the artists who write music, they write a song because something went through their life. And appreciating music is, appreciate, is learning to appreciate other people's life story. So, um, so on your assignment, I gave uh, some of the classroom, I gave five, uh, five uh, lists and some of them are three lists. That you need to find a song. Um, it can be from a movie. It can be as well from a song you listen to, from a, from you know, from YouTube or a music videos and that kind of stuff. I want you to choose three, and some of you have five uh, of that song, and list the name of the song, the title, and the artist, and then tell me a little bit why you like that song. Why do you like that song, right? Because you know you you once you learn. Why do I like something? Then you start to think about like, hey, yeah, why do I like something? Why do I like, why do I like pizza? Why do I like ice cream? Why do I like those kinds of food? You know, why do I, why do I like even you know running around? Why do I like sport? Right. So every like liking of something, you have a reason for it. Now, a music the same thing. If you are stuck into one music, you be playing it over and over again. There must be something that you like about that music. It could be the rhythm, it could be the, uh, the, the message or whatever. 
But I want you to learn to, from your own side, your, from your personal side, tell me and share with me why you like this three song that you choose, or why you like this four, five song that you chosen. Okay, and tell me about it. And, okay. Now, in the end of the week, not this week, but in the end, of, uh, I mean, because we're starting at very end, nearly end of the week, right? But next week, by then, when you when you gather all the results. I'm going to start to compile a list of songs that you guys like, okay? And we're going to start, and I'm going to share that with all of you, so you know that this is a good song to listen to. Now, of course, before I give the song to you, I have to screen it. I have to screen it to make sure that it's swearing for you know, bad word free, uh, bad you know, negative word in there, or bad word in there. So I have to make sure that it's not there. And then I will share it out to you guys. And uh, take it as a list of songs that you can st start to listen to. So you're not know, only sticking to one or three songs at the same uh, all, all, all the time, right? So learning the content is very important because that way you will know if that song is good or not. Yes, just like a, like a storybook, right? Like a storybook. Knowing the content of a story, you will know if that book is good or not for you to read. Yes. All right? So. Enjoy your time together with the family, even though you still you still, you still be doing school at home. Okay, it's not it's not a holiday, yeah, but you're gonna be doing school at home. If there's any question, parents or you as or you guys as well, then parent please be free and text me up and comment on, on the assignment uh, on the classroom assignment from the Google um, page page and yeah or. Is there anything other, if there's any input or critique, I'm, I'm, I'm open to it as well. Uh, please come to, talk to me. Um, you can email me privately or personally. And yeah, so knowing the content of a song will teach you to appreciate that song more. And that way it will be more benefit for you to listen to that song. Even though you have to sing it over and over again. Alright, so good, um, goodbye and good day and see you next week.